Welcome to Comics Corner. Once again, this is Jordan Owens interviewing a fellow local comedian this week. Joe Simmons. Joe Simmons. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know my name? No, no. You were about to say the Joe Simmons, and I stepped on you, and I'm never going to work in this town again. <laughs> nah, it's good seeing you, man. How you doing tonight, man? I'm doing fantastic. You had two sets tonight. Yeah, man, working Blue Agave in Naples and just popped on over to Fred's. Do you like kind of double shooting like that? Is it kind of cool seeing a different perspective? Or uh, You know what? I, I, I think it takes the edge off. Like, I, I already did a feature set and uh, went fantastic, but, you know, it's a normal thing. And then once I've already performed once in a night, it, it's actually kind of fun to go find an open mic somewhere. Yeah. You know, kind of work on some new stuff. So, so you, you featured Agave? Yeah. Dude, technically, you featured here, too. Yeah. You had a killer night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before Max features. Mosquito. <laughs> yeah, I got paid a little bit more than the previous one, but yeah. <laughs> mosquito. Uh, how long have you been in the comedy scene, my friend? Uh, a little over three years, which is uh, which is really nothing in stand-up comedy. You know, mm -hmm. every comedian you've ever heard of has been in at least ten years, so I know I got to do my time. But yeah, three years. I, I think I'm starting to get my feet on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where where'd you start? Where's the first place you started at? first place I ever performed was at the Reserve in Fort Myers. Yeah. How'd that go? Well, uh, it actually went, went pretty well. My uh, A lot of my friends went, so they were supportive. They laughed at whatever stupid shit I said. <laughs> um, but the, the comedian that handed me the microphone and then I gave the microphone back to her said it was the single sweatiest microphone she'd ever seen back in her life. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard of that. Like, it was just driven when you got it? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I was extremely nervous. What made you decide to start? Um, I was a, uh, I was a humor writer. I was a humor blogger before. Humorist? Uh, yes, a humorist. I guess would be a way to put it. And, uh, your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess it, uh, my, my blog, like, caught on, and uh, a lot of comedians actually started reading it, and they said I should try stand-up comedy. About seven followers? Yeah, like, well, when it boomed up to nine, yeah, that's, <laughs> oh. that's when I knew I was a success. And, uh, no, no, but the, uh, I, I really, I genuinely had a phobia of public speaking. Like, I hated it. And, but I decided this is something I really wanted, so I went ahead and I, I went to a, a club called Toastmasters, which I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a support group for people who aren't very good public speakers. And I went and it helped me get over my fear. And, you know, the rest is history, you know, I actually get on stage and tell jokes now. Yeah, yeah. Where does your comedy come from? I come up with most of my material, um, the premises for my jokes, when I can empty my mind, like when I'm, when I'm doing things like mowing the lawn or washing dishes or just a anything where my mind can just get creative and, and wander, I just think of some of the craziest ass shit. And, <laughs> and, and that just, that, that, that gives me the premise and then, then I actually sit down and I try to figure out what the, uh, you know, the wording is and what the punch is going to be. And then a lot of times i got to work it out on stage. I, just, I can't do it on the computer. I have to try it on the stage. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's the worst show you've ever done? What's the hell gig that you've done? The worst? Yeah. Ever? If you can narrow it down, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I've had some shitty ass shows. Uh, I, can't, I can't even... I, I, I can't even think of... What's a couple that comes to mind that just, it just brings you? Like, yeah, that was... That was out there. Uh, I did a show with this one guy that didn't even exist anymore. It was a it was a totally urban show, and yeah, <laughs> Magnum must have loved it. Let me put it this way: the uh, everyone after every punchline, everyone in the audience just stared at me, and it was being videotaped, and the dude videotaping it. He was, he was, he was, he thought he it was, was funny. Yeah. yeah, he thought it was funny because he was giggling and, and the video camera was shaking, but he refused to make a noise. Like, it was one of those gigs where everyone was too embarrassed to laugh. They didn't want to be the one guy to laugh. So I just sit there and suffered myself. I, I went, <laughs> like, I don't know, 10 minutes, getting to get a single laugh the whole fucking show. You wish that camera guy would laugh. Yeah. Might have, might have screwed up people. Uh, what's some of your favorite places to perform? What's a venue that you really like? Um... I don't, I don't, like, any improv is really, really good. I was over at the Hollywood Improv for a little while ago, and that, that just, just to get the big booming laugh and get a big, you know, auditorium-like area like that is just fantastic. But, I mean, 
Fred's Diner here. This, this is a nice, comfortable place to perform. You know, and you, you have to get your timing right that you know that you're not going to get big last year. It's a small event. Right, right. Like the open mic portion, you know, after the headliner has got to be gone. You know, but I mean, I just love the place, love the public people. Definitely, definitely. Um, what do you think the Southwest Florida comedy scene means? And also, and also the comedy scene in whole, what do you think could help it? Uh, I think we need to, the Southwest Florida scene, I, I think we got to band together a little bit more and push each other creatively because, you know, when we always hear about, you know, East Coast comics and they all here performing. Right, right. And uh, when I performed over there, I was amazed at how talented some of those comics are. And I think it's because they push each other, you know. It, also, it's competitive, you know. Right. But you know, there's also a lot of talent over there, and there's a lot more comedians. If you're not that good a comedian, you can get pushed out of the scene. You know, right over here, you might hang around it a little bit while. <laughs> Survival of the fittest over there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think we need to all push each other a little bit more, and uh, you know, and, and have more access to venues and stuff like that. Uh, okay, uh, we got a special. Uh, it's an email suggestion. <laughs> Uh, is Lisa Lampanelli really your mom's sister? <laughs> Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> this is from a uh, Mike Mosquito. Whoever that is. Uh, uh, Lisa Lampanelli is actually my girlfriend. Yeah, man. How long yeah. have you guys been together? Uh, no, I'm kidding. She only likes black guys. That's true. You're not black. <laughs> yeah, no, it's deceiving. True. Um. Yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> I want to get him a copy. What do you tell him? Uh, I tell him. I tell him this. First of all, make the commitment right away. Find an open mic thirty days from now and commit to it. Because if you don't, you're gonna procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. Yeah, I know. I procrastinated for like two years before I found out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is to pick up a really good book about. Comedy writing. I, I, I read uh, the Comedy Bible by Judy Carter. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. I've had people recommend that. Yeah, that was good. Do you think that helped you? Does that yeah, set you on the right way? Um, who are some of your favorite people locally to work with? Who do you like doing shows with? Well, I tell you what, that Max Mosquito, he's a piece of shit. I, uh, why do you think he hasn't been on the show, man? <laughs> I don't know why anyone would work with him. I, I'm just kidding, by the way. He's fantastic. He's in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to work with, I, I tell you what, I, I, I learned a lot from uh, Brian Hamilton. I learned a lot from uh, uh, Annette, uh, crap, I can't believe I forget her name. Torres, Annette Torres. She's not local anymore. Yeah, big fan. Who are her? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I learned that. The I Spanish broad. Yeah. Um, yeah, just really, main, mainly like the veterans, people that have been around the game for a while. And I, I, I learned from them. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's always good to talk to them and learn some stuff. Great, we have another email suggestion. Um, how was life after splitting up with your wife and the reality show <laughs> John and Kate plus eight? And how is Kate? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we are using our precious last eight minutes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kate's doing fantastic. I'm still trying to get back with her because. Like 13 kids. I just gotta say, you're not wearing tonight, but Ed Hardy shirts are awesome. <laughs> you know how to rock it. Uh, where, where do you see yourself 5, 10, 15 years of the comedy game? Gonna hang in there? What do you plan on doing, man? Uh, you know what? I, I, I enjoy the writing more than performing, to be quite honest. And I've always kind of told myself, you know what? I'm gonna eventually get into just the writing, but then I, I'll have like a. Sh I, I had a true picture tonight at, 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 at Agave, you know, every time you get that high after getting off the stage, we're just, yeah. we're just doing it, I'm like, I gotta do stand up. So, to answer your question about it, I, either writing or one of the two, I'm, I'm never gonna give up one of those two, because... Yeah. These days are performing, so basically you can't, are they gonna... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, everyone's got their potential, and I want to meet that potential. If that, if that potential isn't as high as I want to go, then I'll... You know, as far as performing, then I'll then I'll do just the writing. But you know, one of the two. You know, I discovered deadpan comedy, you know, about a year and a half ago, and it's really been working out for me. So I think, you know, I'm gonna take that as far as I'm going. Yeah. yeah. Is do you like that style? Is that something that really suits you? And you think? I think it, because I'm I've always been more of a writer than a performer. Mm -hmm. The deadpan showcases the writing. 
you know, it showcases the material. And I don't, you know, have to do a whole lot of acting. I'm not much of an actor. I thought you were filming a sitcom with me this summer. I mean, I mean, I could start. I said. <laughs> uh, and anything you want to plug in? You want to let the people know? Um, only to uh, add me on Facebook. You can go to facebook.com slash Joe Simmons comic and uh, like me. Yeah, man. Adam on Facebook. You're on Twitter? Uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Adam on Twitter. Uh, take care. Spike your hair as you can see. Uh, say goodbye to the people, man. They love you. You're pretty. Thanks. And thanks for thinking I'm pretty. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I'm Jordan Owens. This is Comic Corner. Uh, good night. Good luck. And go fuck yourself, D. Barnes. <laughs> <laughs>